Hey guys, Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Here we are playing our fifth game of the Ryan Experiment. Uh, I decided, um, I had the set set off to the side, and I decided to uh, prep it all up and put the teams together to replay a little bit. I, I was in the mood for a little bit of Nolan Ryan in his, uh, in his prime in the 70s to see what it would be like to uh, go see a Nolan Ryan baseball game. I looked at his stats and I noticed that uh, he had about almost six walks per game. And I said, I wonder how Stratomatic um, is going to represent that. I mean, will, will, how, how accurate will they be? And so far, it's, it's been extremely accurate. We had a, a game with, I believe, seven or eight. and But we also had a game with three. The last game, he only walked three, he struck out five, gave up seven hits, two earned runs, um, he beat the Minnesota Twins by a score of 3-2. to two. That was his last start. So far, he's completed every game he started. He's got his uh, weakness point as 9, right? So his point of weakness is a 9. So uh, he's been able to start almost uh, or complete almost every game that he started. And I even went and dug up my Nolan Ryan. 19, I went into my 1975 set of baseball cards and pulled out the 1974 version. It's, you know, they, they took the pictures in 74 and they released the, the set in 75. Um, and this is Nolan 74, Ryan. Um, so there it is, the Topps baseball card for that. And uh, of course, he started his career with the Mets and moved on to the Angels. And um, I got the 74 out of production, not available in stores anywhere. Stratomatic set. I had to kind of reach out to some colleagues to get the extra players because I really wanted those. Today I uh, I didn't have to, but I went out of my way to make a guy who paid, played about seventy uh, at bats with the uh, with the uh, Athletics. It's going to be Angels at Athletics today, so it's going to be a good game. Guy was named Manny Trio. Manny Trio. I remember him with the Cubs in the eighties, I believe. Right? Am I right? And uh, but he starts seems that he starts off with the A's for a little bit, and uh, he had only 70 at bats. So obviously Stratomax not going to make a card for a guy like that back then. And uh, so I, I wanted to have him in the lineup. I didn't have to. I could have replaced him with somebody, but I wanted to have Manny Trio to just be able to have this discussion with you about Manny Trio being on the on the Oakland A's. I don't remember him on the A's. I remember. I think I'm pretty sure, but I remember him on the Cubs. And um, so I had to. I used the nameless cards, and I kind of looked. At, I looked at his average. He has zero hits against lefties. So uh, I had to remove all the hits from his lefty card, from the, the lefty nameless card, and um, and that's about it. So let me let's look at the lineups for the California Angels and the A's, and let's see how Nolan Ryan does. If he can complete his fifth consecutive uh, game, and um, and let's see what happens. All right, so the lineups are going to be for the visiting Angels is uh, Mickey Rivers. He's a center fielder. Dave Chalk is a shortstop, followed by Bobby Valentine. Valentine will be in left field. Va Va Valentine plays infield and outfield. Uh, batting cleanup is Frank Robinson, the Frank Robinson in, in the twilight of his career. He will be the DH. Batting fifth is Bob Oliver, who will be the third baseman. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Mike Epstein was on the Angels. And uh, he plays first base. And we have the right fielder, Leroy Stanton, who's a pretty good defensive right fielder. We have Ellie Rodriguez, the catcher. And we have Denny Doyle batting ninth, the uh, second baseman. He's a pretty good second baseman out of two. He's got his shortstop number first, and then he's got a second base number second. And, of course, he's going to be on the mound for the, uh, for the athletics is going to be um, Kenny Holsmith against Nolan Ryan, and let's go over the athletics lineup. Going to know a lot of these guys, right? Bill North, he's in, uh, I believe, center, should be in center. Uh, well, actually, it's Bert Campanaris, then it's Bill North. So Campanaris and North. And uh, after that, <coughs> North is going to be playing center field. It's going to be Sal Bando at third. Uh, Reggie Jackson in the cleanup spot. Batting fifth is going to be Joe Rudy. So 
So Drew Rudy batting fifth. Didn't put these in order. Batting sixth is uh, Gene Tennis playing first base. Ray Fossey, the catcher. Um, batting seventh, batting eighth is Pat Burke. He is the DH. And then batting ninth will be Manny Trio. Yes, sir, Manny Trio. And that's the that's the lineup for the Oakland A's. So let's get to playing some Stratomatic. I'm using the advanced because obviously these are the cards and they don't have the super advanced information on them. So I'm playing the straight up advanced. Good enough. Plays well. Plays fun. Plays easy. So let's enjoy it. All right, here goes Kenny Holzman with the pitch to Mickey Rivers, lefty on lefty. And that is a two and a six, and that's ground ball up the middle and through. Pass the diving Campanaris into center field, and Mickey Rivers has good speed. Catcher uh, is Ray Fossey. Let's see what Fossey got. Arm-wise, Fossey is a minus two arm, plus he's being held. Arm is minus two. I put it in here. He has a two two range minus two arm, and um, Rivers should be one to seventeen. Well, that's running the. Let's grab the uh, an A. I believe is one to fifteen off the top of my head. Yeah, one to fifteen minus four is one to eleven. Um, and Kenny Holtzman. He's got no hold rating from in this set that I can see. So, uh, so it goes to a let's minus four, two for being held on. Unless I'm missing one of the rules. And if I am, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it too much. But it seems like really bringing Mickey Rivers down. But he's going to try to steal. So let's do it. And it's a one, so he does steal, and it could be an error on the catcher. Let's see if he has an error rating there. Maybe not. I don't know if these – yeah, the cards didn't add that yet. Okay, so there's no error. It's just a stolen base for Mickey Rivers, and he's on second base. And now it's Dave Chalk. And that is a one and a five against the lefty. And it's a ground ball, shortstop A. He will look Rivers back to second. So, scooped up by Campanaris. Gives Rivers a look. Fires the first. One out. Next up is Bobby Valentine. Now, Valentine, I uh, wonder what kind of record, what, what time of uh, history he had with the Angels. Because he seems to be a starter, starting all these games. It's a four and a seven, so that is he's a righty. So it's a four and a seven, and struck him out with a fastball. So Holtzman brings the heat, and my Valentine chases two out. Next up is Frank Robinson. He's got a couple home runs for us already, and it's going to be a one five, and that's a deep drive. Off a lefty pitcher, a 1-5. That's a deep drive to left field, way back, and that's gone. Two-run homer, Frank Robinson. That is, I believe, is his third of this little mini five-game set. Trying to replay Nolan Ryan. Bob Oliver's next. 2 nothing. Holzman wishes he had that pitch back. And he winds and deals. It's going to be a 5 and a 7 versus a righty, and that's going to be a X. On the shortstop, Campaneris, and Campaneris is, should be a two, and that's I'm, I'm right about that. He's a two. And um, oh, I'm going to have to use that other. Yeah, hold on a second here. Here it is. Uh, oh. There's another chart, right? Is that other chart that we use with Stratomatic? And where is that chart? Like another cardboard chart. 
All right, this is the one I was talking about. Short stop. I rolled a six. He's a two short stop, and that will be a ground ball A to end the inning. But uh, the damage has been done. Two runs come in on a two-run home run by Frank Robinson. And uh, Nolan Ryan taking the mound for the California Angels, called the California Angels at that time. He will be facing Bert Campanaris. And Nolan Ryan checks in with Ellie Rodriguez and Wines and Deals. It is a three and a four, and that is a it's ripped to short, scooped up by Chalk over to first, and Campanaris is down for the first out. Here is Bill North next. Ryan delivers, and it is a 5-6. He's a switch hitter, a 5-6. That's ball four. So North walks, and he is a threat to steal for sure. Ellie Rodriguez, the catcher, so they're holding him, minus two. Ellie Rodriguez is what? Uh, he is a minus two as well, two minus two. And there he goes, and he is safe. Stolen base for Bill North. And here's Sal Bando. Nolan Ryan shakes off the sign, likes what he sees, brings it, and it's a two and a seven, a two and a seven. That's a ground ball up the middle and through in the center field. Will Bill North score? He's a one to 17, our center fielder, Mickey Rivers is a plus two so that's a 19 so he will score rbi single for bando and it is two to one just like that they score off of ryan who's completed this is the fifth game and he's complete he has four complete games up to this point reggie jackson that's a pitch and that is a four niner and that struck him out Big strikeout, fastball, blows it by Jackson, who swings. Cork screws himself into the ground. And uh, here's Joe Rudy. Pitch to Joe Rudy. It's a five and a five, and that's ball four. Second walk allowed by Ryan. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for about six walks, a little bit more, a little bit less is fine. The last game he walked only three, so if we had seven or eight, that'd be perfect. So far, he's right around six walks per game. So here is Gene Tennis. Gene Tennis with runners on first and second and two out. And here's the pitch. And that is a five and a five. And that's ball four. So that's the third walk in the inning. And that's going to load up the bases for Ray Fossey. So I keep on rolling that five and five. That's what's killing me. All right. So here comes Ray Fossey. And you know what? I just uh, I, I misplaced the first few um, score score sheets that I I uh, played, but I know I didn't throw them out. I have them somewhere. I just don't know what pile they're in, so I got to keep on looking for them. All right. So uh, bases loaded. Ray Fossey, and here's the pitch, and that is a four. He's a righty. A four and an eight, and that struck him out. Blows a fastball by Fossey. Rings him up, and that is one run on one hit, and they leave the bases loaded. Wow. So Ryan comes up big with two big strikeouts to get himself out of that, that pickle. And now at the top of the second inning, it's Kenny Holzman against um, Mike Epstein. And that is a two and an eight, and that will be a fly ball to left. One away. Next is Leroy Stanton, and that's a five and a six. He's a righty, a five and a six, and that's cracked to left center field. On the run is Rudy, and Rudy runs it down. So back-to-back -back fly outs to Joe Rudy and left. 
Okay, here's Kenny Postman to Ellie Rodriguez. It's going to be a four. He's a righty, a four and a five, and that will be popped up. Left side, third baseman, Bando. He's there, makes the catch, and that retires the side. Three up and three down. Let's see the bottom of the order. Burke, uh, Trilio, Trilo, Trio, and Campaneris coming up. All right, Pat Burke, lefty, against Nolan Ryan, who's got two strikeouts and three walks so far in one inning. Yikes. Oh, boy. So this is a 5 and a 10 against the lefty, and that's a strikeout. Number three so far. Next is Manny Trio. I had to create him. And obviously, you see he didn't bat very well. Uh, I got rid of all the singles. This was a 200-hitter card, but it still had too many hits. And it's a 4 and a 10 against the righty, a 4 and a 10. And that is a ground ball second base X. Second baseman is a 2. Doyle is a 2. And we rolled, what, a 4 on a 2. And that will be a ground ball that's handled by Denny Doyle. And over to first and two away. Here comes the top of the order. And it's Bert Campaneris who rounded out in the first. And that is a five and a seven to a righty. And that's a base on balls, number four. He already, oh no, he hasn't stolen. He will be going. And there he goes. And he is safe. Stolen base, throw down, not in time. So Ellie Rodriguez got rid of the ball quickly, but there's no chance to get Campaneris with that kind of a lead. And he's in scoring position for Bill North, the switch hitter, batting lefty off Nolan Ryan. Let's see what happens here. And that's a two and a six, and it's a bouncer to first base. Easy play for Epstein, and that retires the side. So no runs, a hit. No, I'm sorry, no runs, no hits. So walk, a stolen base, and a man left. Top of the third. It's going to be... Doyle and then Rivers and Chalk. Playing Stratomatic. Check out the other games. Nolan Ryan's 1974. It's beautiful, beautiful to see this this set to be able to maybe um, you don't know maybe Stratomatic will reprint it the 1974 set. I don't know, or create a new one. I think they have to create an advanced one. So one and a and an eleven. And versus a lefty, that'll be a chopper to the shortstop who charges and on the run lets it fly and one away. Denny Doyle next, he bats from the left side. And that's a six and a six, and that will be a crack one to center. Drifting under it is center fielder north, and he's there. Two down. Dave Chalk. Hold on a second. It's Denny Doyle. I Rodriguez was out, so it would have, should have been, I should have been, uh... all right, Dave Chalk, and that's a six and a nine, he's a righty, and that'll be a fly ball to right, coming over is Jackson, and that retires the side, three up and three down. So Ryan so far with four walks and three strikeouts. Typical Ryan game from what I'm seeing. Salbando leads off, and Salbando has a high on base percentage for sure. Does get a lot of walks. He singled earlier in the game. I think I have to throw that one too. So it's going to be a five and an eight. So I'll get five and an eight. That's a strikeout. So number four for Ryan. Blows a fastball by Bando. Who whiffs at it. Next is Reginald Martinez Jackson, Reggie. And that's a one and an eight, and that's ball four. Walk number five. And here's Joe Rudy. Pitch to Rudy, and that's a two and a a two and a three is a ground ball, third base. That's to Oliver goes to second for one. Back to first. Five, four, three, double play. No runs, no hits, a walk. Nobody left. Go to the top of the fourth. 
It's uh, going to be Valentine Robinson and Oliver. All right, Kenny Holzman against Bobby Valentine and who is a bitch. And that is a five and a four, and that is popped up. Middle infield, second base, and shortstop. That's Trio and Campaneris come together, and it's Trio who calls off Campy. One away. And that is a six and a ten, and that's a bouncer to third. Third baseman. Oliver, I believe, is a four. And we rolled 12. That's going to be an error. Uh, hmm. Wait a second. They do have error numbers on these, so hold on. So Oliver is the third. He is an error rating of... No, there's no error ratings on these. I thought there was error ratings on these. Hmm. No error ratings on these. Okay, so then I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to use this chart. I can use the other chart. So he is a four. What was he? Four. I'm pretty sure he's a four, Oliver. No, it's a, it's a three at first. Uh, no, Oliver is a third base. Oliver is a four at third base. So a four with a 12. And a four with a 12 is a makes the play, gets the out. So Robinson grounds out to third, and here is Oliver Robinson with a two-run homer in the first. Here's Bob Oliver. He grounded out earlier. That is a six against a righty, a six and a four, and that's a catcher X. Catcher X result of 14. Catcher is a two and he it's a foul out popped up foul territory over his fossey and he makes the catch no runs no hits three up three down score is two to one angels Nolan Ryan against Gene Tennis Here's a pitch from Ryan, and that is a three and a five, and that will be a home run, one to ten home run, but it's an 11, so that's a deep drive, left field, backing up to the track is Valentine, and he makes the catch, hauls it in, so Gene Tennis gave it a ride, but the D20, the split number is too high. All right, it's going to be a four and an eight against a righty, and that's a strikeout, another strikeout, number five. For Ryan, blows a fastball by Fossey. Fossey didn't even see it. Here's Pat Burke, and that's a three and an eight, and that'll be a strikeout back-to-back -back K's. Got him. The curveball. No runs, no hits. Three up and three down. Top of the fifth, it's going to be Epstein, Stanton, and Rodriguez coming up. It's Kenny Holtzman. Versus Nolan Ryan. It's 1974. What were you doing 1974? What game was this? I believe this game is April 20th, 1974. Let's do it. All right. And he's a lefty. It's a four and a four. And that's a fly ball center field X. Center fielder North is a, is a two minus two. Two minus two with a 12, and that'll be an out running. Nice running catch. So Holzman gets Epstein to fly out. Next up is Lee Stanton, and that is a six and a nine, and a six and a nine is a fly out ball to right center field. On the run is Jackson and Reggie. 
runs runs it down. Turn down the Jets there. Got a good read on that ball right off the bat. Next is Ellie Rodriguez. Here's the pitch. Shoot. And it's a two and a seven. Against the lefty, a two and a seven. That's ball four. So that's the first walk allowed by Holzman. And it's Denny Doyle next with two outs. Pitch to Doyle, the lefty. It's a two and a nine. Two and a nine. That's popped line. That's ripped and caught by the second baseman, L4. No runs, no hits. A walk, one left. Bottom of the fifth. Trio, Campaneris, and North coming out. Nolan Ryan going for his fifth consecutive complete game. See if he can pull it off. And Trio leads off. Here's the pull from Ryan. And that's a one and a niner. And that's popped up. Middle infield, second baseman. Doyle, he's there. One down. Next is Bert Campaneris. And that's a six, and he's uh, that's a six and a five, and that's going to be a triple double, no triple single. That's line base hit. It's a single for Campaneris, and Campy already stole a base, so we will play it safe now. I'm going to try a hit and run. He's a hit and run of the C, so now we're not going to try a hit and run. Here's Bill North, and that is a five and a six, five and a six. That's ball four. Ooh. So runners on first and second with only one out here against Ryan in the bottom of the fifth inning. Salvando, always dangerous. Salvando here's the pitch, and that's a, a 6 and an 11, and that's a ground ball shortstop X with a 15. The shortstop is not really very good. He's a 4. It is a, two, a 15 I rolled, and that will be... Out with uh, I think that's a fielder's choice number four runner or forced runner hold. If no runners are forced or with one out with one or more runners forced, batter is safe. Disregard the runner on first is out going to second. Okay, <clears throat> that's going to be a four, a six four fielder's choice, and that puts runners on first and third. Cabaneras goes to third, and uh, now it's Reggie Jackson. Jackson. Sets up. He bats from the left side. Ryan checks in with Rodriguez and shakes off the first side and likes the second one and pumps one down the pike. And that is a four and a seven. <coughs> and struck him out. Big K for Ryan, number seven. Gets Jackson for the second time today. So no runs, a hit, two left. Go to the top of the six with the top of the order coming up is going to be Rivers, Chalk, and Valentine. Stay tuned tomorrow for a little uh, Here's the Pitch, Game 6 of the 1973 World Series. Kenny Holzman will be facing Mickey Rivers here in the top of the sixth inning. Rivers is one for two with a single and a stolen base. And that's a one and a three. And a one and a three is a bouncer to first. Easy play for tennis. One down. Next is Dave Chalk, and that's a three and a five, and a three and a five is Bouncer through the hole into left field for a one-out single for Chalk. He's one for three now. Next is uh, Bobby Valentine, who's 0 for 2, and he's a good hit-and-run guy, so we're going to try hit-and-run. Going to roll two dice. Hit-and-run, see what happens. There he goes, the runner. It's a three, single through the hole. Runner advances two bases, so it's going to be first and third now. And it's Frank Robinson, and field will be in. Here's the pitch. And that is a 2 and a 10, and that is to shortstop B. With the infield in. And the B says runner on third is out. Other runners, how many outs? Yep, runner on third is out. Other runners advance one base. Okay, so it's going to be a 6 to 2. They get chalk at the plate trying to advance, so it's a fielder's choice, and it's going to be first and second. Here comes Bob Oliver. Holzman sets and deals, and that is a three and an eight, and that's line and caught by shortstop Campanaris. So one, two, three outs, so no runs, two hits, two left, and we go to the bottom of the sixth. It'll be Rudy, Tennis, and Fossey coming up 
against Nolan Ryan, the Ruby Express. Gene, uh, Rudy leads off. Let's see where we got Rudy here. There he is. And there's a pitch. And that's a five and a seven. And that's ball four. That is number six in this game. So Rudy, the tying run is on base. Gene Tennis next. Pitch to tennis and a one and a six. And that's ball four. Oh, boy. That's number seven. <laughs> so we're really struggling here today. First and second, and Ray Fossey. He's a bunt C. Um, I'm going to try to bunt with him. And let's see. Sacrifice. Actually, with a C, he would be able, I would be able to use that other chart, right? He's a bunt C. I would be able to use bun C and I roll the five and it's gonna be a delays one down and it goes right to the pitcher, picks it up over to first, so it's a sacrifice. One four. Both runners advance, so the go ahead runners at second base in scoring position here against Ryan. And it's the lefty Pat Burke. Now I could uh, I could walk Burke and and face you know what I'm gonna intentionally walk Burke to load up the bases and face Trio and uh, Cabaneras. Here's the pitch. The infield will be in forced to be in right here. It's a two and a ten, and that will be a base hit single. Wow, look at that! So one run comes in. I will hold in the other runner. So it's an RBI single. And that is a 2 and a 10, and it is a single. He has a couple of singles on his uh, on his right side. And next is Burke Campaneris. Again, the infield is in, so the game is tied at 2. Pitch to Campaneris, and that is a 6 and an 11. And that will be a ground ball shortstop X. So let's see what it is. A seven. A seven will be against Chonk, and that will be a one base error. So one run will score. E six. He scores here. That's ten is coming in to score. Bases are still loaded. Bill North, three to two. And field continues to be in, and that's a one and an eight. And a one and an eight, and that'll be, oh, that's a drive. And it's going to be cut off. One run scores, two run scores, a two run single from Bill North. And going to third is Campaneras. We got first and third. So I think this is going to be the first time we're going to have to remove uh, Nolan Ryan. So there's only one out. The First and third infield is going to continue to be in because the score now is five to two. And we're going to face Sal Bando, see what happens. And that's a five and a five. Oh, that's going to be a base on balls. And this is going to knock. This is going to, yep, ball. That's ball four. Bando takes ball four. And that is going to knock out Nolan Ryan. First time he gets knocked out. That loads the bases. All right. It's going to be a guy named Dave Sells. He will be facing. He's a righty. He will be facing Jackson. Here's a pitch, and it's a three and a five, and that's ball four. That's going to force in a run. RBI for Jackson. Bases continue to be loaded. The A's have batted around. Rudy's up next. Infield is at this point uh, one, two, three, four, five coming in. That's six to two. At this point, we're gonna move infield halfway for the double play. It's a three and a nine, and a three and a nine. It's gonna be a strikeout. So curveball gets Rudy. 
And it's Gene Tennis. Tennis walked in this inning. And he's walked twice today. He's 0 for 1. Here's a pitch. That's a 1 and a 9 -er. And that's ball 4. That'll force in a run. Third walk of the day for, for uh, Tennis. You know, the A's do reach the, um, well, they make it to the World Series in 74. You can watch Kurt Berglund play uh, using Here's the Pitch. He's replaying the 74 World Series. So tennis walks, takes ball four, and that forces in a run. He picks up an RBI, scores seven to two. Uh, Ryan got knocked out, and here is Ray Fossey. Dave sells to Ray Fossey, and that's a two and a six, and that'll be a fly ball center field. Racing in is Rivers, and Rivers puts it away. So that's uh, five, six runs come in. On a one, two, th two hits. Yep, that's all. Two hits and the rest are walks. One including one intentional walk. Crazy. All right. It's going to be Mike Epstein. Epstein, Stanton, and Rodriguez in the top of the seventh. Scores seven to two. Um, A's. Kenny Holtzman facing the lefty first baseman and that is a six and a ten and that'll be a bouncer to third with a 16 third baseman is bando who i imagine is a two bando should be a two let's see what he is bando is a two so on the 16 he'll make the play one away and i'll just double check On the 16, and he does make the play. So one down here in the top of the seven, scores seven to two. Athletics. Lee Stanton is 0 for 2, a couple of flats, and so one and a five, and that'll be a, another cracks one to left center. And Rudy's there, two away, three flyouts for Stanton getting under the ball, and here's Ellie Rodriguez. He's a righty with a five and a nine, and that's oh, that's a drive, and that's going to drop in there. It's gonna, digging for second is Rodriguez, and he's in there with a two-out double. Denny Doyle is up next. Here's a pitch, and it's a two and an eight, a two and an eight, and that's popped up right side, first baseman, tennis makes the catch, and that retires the side. All right, Dave Sells facing Pat Burke, Manny Trio, and um, and the top of the order, Campanaris. Seven to two, the score. Wait a second. Yep, and uh, it's going to be a four. He's a he's, uh, He's a lefty, so it's a four and a two, and that's a fly ball. Center field. Right there is Rivers for out number one. The A's batted around in the sixth inning. That's a two and an eight. And that'll be a line out to second base. Trio doesn't hit very much. Next is Bird Campanaris. That's a two and an eight, and it's a ground ball and through the left side. So Campy muscles one through the infield. He's on with a single. And it's a six. He's batting lefty against the righty. So it's a six and a ten, and that's a catcher X with a 17. Our catcher's a two. Catcher X. 17, and that's a row 27 die again. And that's going to be a 14, which will be a foul ball behind the plate. And right there is Rodriguez to retire the side. So no runs, a hit, one left. Go to the top of the eighth. It's the top of the order.
So Holtzman going for a complete game. He has allowed two runs, and it's going to be Mickey Rivers. Rivers today is one for three with a single. And that's a five and a five, and that'll be a bouncer to second base. And Trio better hurry, and oh, just gets Rivers by half a step, and Rivers thinks he's safe, talking to, to the first base coach and the umpire, and he's insisting he's safe, but there's no replay back then. That's a four and a four. He's a righty, and that'll be a fly ball center field. Will North get there? I don't think so. And uh, he he does. Runs it down with the one that I rolled. I didn't think. I thought that was going to be. A... So North runs it down. Shallow fly ball that I didn't think anybody was going to get to. But North came out of nowhere showing off that speed. And here's Bobby Valentine. He's a righty. It's a 4 and an 11. That's a fly ball left field X with a 6. The left fielder is Rudy. Rudy should be at least a 2 for sure. He is a 1. 1 plus 1. And that will be a catch. With a 6, I'm sure it will be a catch. And it is. So Rudy makes a nice play. Runs that one down to retire the side. Three up and three down. Bando, Jackson, and Rudy do up in the bottom of the eighth. Seven, two, A's. The A's were trailing two to one until the sixth, and then they broke out. Dave Sells is in there. We're going to keep him in there. This is third inning, so this is his point of uh, weakness, I believe. So let's see what happens. It's Bando. It's a 1 and a 10, and that'll be a fly ball center field. Easy play for Mickey Rivers. Mick the quick. Jackson is next with a 4 and a 7, and that's a drive in the gap. That's going to split the outfield to roll to the wall. Takes an odd bounce away from the outfielder, and Reggie around second is going to try for third. The relay, the tag, and he is safe with a one-out triple. Reggie Jackson picks up a triple off of Dave Sells' card. And here's Joe Rudy. And that's a three and a six, and that'll be a strikeout. So Rudy chases a curveball and uh, flails at the curveball at Uncle Charlie. And uh, here's Gene Tennis. And that's a one and a six, and tennis against the righty. That's ball four. It's the fourth walk for tennis today. He did have a high on um, base percentage. He was known for a high on base percentage. Ray Fossey's next with runners on first and third and two out. Dave Sells, the pitch. And that's a three and a nine. And that's going to be bounced to third. Play by Oliver. Oliver throws a strike to retire the side. No runs. One hit, one left. And uh, it's last licks for the Angels who trail by five runs. Kenny Holtzman going for a complete game now. Oh, wait, seven, eight, nine. Okay, he's good. He's good because he has his point of weakness of seven. I believe they can go two innings beyond that. So he's gone eight and then now nine. So he can complete the game. Let's see what happens. Here's pitch. And that is a six and a nine. And that'll be a fly ball to deep right field. Backing up is Jackson, and he's there. So Frank Robinson hit a home run earlier. Gives it a ride to right this time. Here's Bob Oliver, who's over three today. And that's a two and a ten against the lefty. And struck him out. Big K for Holtzman of Bob Oliver. Holtzman is not a big strikeout guy. That's only his second strikeout of the game. So here is the lefty Mike Epstein. Pitch from Holtzman. And it's a five and a six. And that'll be a fly ball, shallow right, racing in his Jackson. And Jackson gets there, and that's the ball game, folks. That is my fifth game playing uh, the Nolan Ryan season. Ryan is going to pick up the loss here. The loss, he went uh, five and a third. Gave it one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, gave up. 
seven runs, six earned runs, um, eight walks, and seven strikeouts. Final score is uh, seven to two. Hits for the Angels, one, two, three, four, five. I don't believe there was any errors real quick. Yeah, there was one error there, the shortstop, chalk. <clears throat> any errors? No, no errors for the Athletics. The Athletics had one, two, three, four, five, five. one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> six hits, six hits, but they had a ton of walks. They had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen walks. Wow. Eight by Ryan, and then a bunch by one there, two, wait a second. Three by cell, so that would be eleven. I think I, I said I counted twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So let's do it again. Four there, five for um, this is Ryan, then six for Ryan, seven for Ryan, eight for Ryan. And of course, the intentional walk. And then nine for Ryan. So he had nine walks. Nine walks, one intentional walk. So I'm not going to count. I don't know if I should count that or not, but I that was mandated. So anyway, pretty crazy. So then, and, and then of course, David Sells, he walked three. So that makes it a total of 12, I believe. He walked one here, he walked two and three so that'll make it 12 plus the intentional walk is 13. yep so that's it for ryan's fifth start uh extremely realistic uh, when you face a team like oakland who has players that have uh, are very patient as have a very good eye um ryan is in big trouble but ryan also kept on rolling on that that five column and that five column i rolled five five six seven three four times and that was like a walk every time and then of course there were some walks coming off the batter cards as well so anyway, that's the that's the final game of my five game replay, and uh, I you know what? I have to be honest with you, I may play a game six into game seven. I'm still I'm a little bit hooked now, playing this 1974 Stratomatic, and just uh, the only issue is a oh man, I wish I wish they had all the cards. You just buy all the players so I can get these actual lineups in there without having to create. Uh, sometimes creating those, you know. I know some guys, that's half the fun, but uh, sometimes I just like to get to playing. But uh, this is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Uh, remember to like and subscribe my channel for more fun content. And uh, ask any questions you have, you know, uh, get in there and, and talk to me and on, the, uh, on YouTube, and I'll respond to you. I respond to everybody, and I will see you soon. Take care.